Hello friends, today is chapter five, lesson three of Shirley English. And you should have already listened to jingle number 15, the possessive pronoun jingle. And you know now that possessive pronouns show ownership. When someone owns something, there are seven possessive pronouns. My, our, his, her, its, their, and your. All seven of those words show ownership. And so to find a possessive pronoun, the question that you're going to ask is whose. And possessive pronoun adjectives are labeled with P, P, A, capital P, P, A, because it is a pronoun that shows ownership and acts as an adjective. So this is actually an adjective, possessive pronoun adjective. It describes the noun, who it belongs to. Possessive pronouns do not affect the pattern of the sentence because they are adjectives. So let's do a few examples to go through the question answer flows. And we are also going to add one more thing in our labeling, okay? So sentence number one says, she dashed upstairs for her homework assignment in her backpack. First, we look for prepositions. For is a preposition. For what? Assignment. Assignment is the object of the preposition. All the way to assignment. What kind of assignment? Homework. Adjective. Whose homework assignment? Her possessive pronoun adjective. Her is telling whose homework assignment it is. Okay, it shows ownership. The homework assignment belongs to her. In is a preposition. In what? Backpack. Object of the preposition. Whose backpack? Her possessive pronoun adjective. The backpack belongs to her. It shows ownership. Who or what dashed upstairs? She, subject pronoun. SP subject pronoun. And what is being said about she? She dashed. Dashed is a verb. She dashed where? Upstairs. Where is an adverb question? A, D, V. Our main parts are the subject pronoun and the verb. So our pattern is still subject, noun, verb, pattern, one. This type of sentence is a period statement declarative sentence. Now for our new label, we are going to divide the sentence between the subject and the predicate. So the subject is telling who or what the sentence is about. Well, the sentence is about she. So we're going to underline the subject one time and we're going to divide the subject from the predicate. And the predicate is the action. It's what is happening. So the predicate is dashed upstairs for her homework assignment in her backpack. All of those words in the predicate are going to be underlined twice. I'm running out of room on my board. Underline the predicate twice. Okay, so now on every sentence that we do, we're going to also do our dividing. So let's look at number two. 
a massive flock of birds flew toward our rice field. Let's look for prepositions first. Of is a preposition. Of what? Birds, object of the preposition. Toward is also a preposition. Toward what? Field, object of the preposition. What kind of field? Rice, adjective. Whose rice field? Our possessive pronoun adjective. The rice field belongs to us. It's our rice field. Shows ownership. Who or what flew? The flock. Remember, the subject noun cannot be in the prepositional phrase. So flock is the subject noun. What kind of flock? Massive adjective. A article adjective. What is being said about the massive flock? Flew verb. Our pattern is a subject noun verb pattern one sentence. Looks like every word is labeled. This is a period statement declarative sentence. What is the subject? Who or what is the whole sentence about? It is about a massive flock of birds. That all gets underlined once as the subject, a massive flock of birds. And what is being said about the massive flock of birds? Flew toward our rice field. That is all part of the predicate. It gets underlined twice. I will make sure that I get a new marker for next time. Number three, an excited class of first grade students departed for the pumpkin patch today. Let's see if I can switch my marker out really quickly. Let's try red. The first preposition is of. Of what? Of students, object of the preposition. What kind of students? First grade, adjective. Since the is hyphenated, it acts as one word. For is another preposition. For what? Patch, object of the preposition. What kind of patch? Pumpkin. Adjective. The article adjective. Who or what departed? The class subject now. What kind of class? Excited. Adjective. And article adjective. What is being said about an excited class? Departed, verb. Departed when? Today, adverb. This is a subject, noun, verb, pattern one sentence. Another period statement declarative sentence. The subject of the sentence, who or what it is about, is an excited class of first grade students. That all gets underlined once. An excited class of first grade students. What is being said about them? What did they do? The predicate is 
departed for the pumpkin patch today. That gets underlined twice as the predicate. So today we learned possessive pronoun adjectives. Those show ownership. They do not change the pattern of our sentence. We also learned about dividing the subject from the predicate. So now when you go to do your homework sentences, make sure that you don't forget to go back through and underline and add your dividing line. Okay, those are also going to count as part of your points in being correctly, um, correctly labeling the sentences. Okay, we'll, we'll get some more practice in the next few days. Great job.